Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are doing great this morning. So today we will solve a word problem on quadratic equation. Say Steve and Tammy leave a campground hiking on two different trails. Steve heads south and Tammy heads east. By lunchtime, they are nine miles apart. Steve walked three miles more than twice as many miles as Tammy. Find the distance each person hiked. So, let me clear this. Okay. So, let x be the distance traveled by Tammy. Traveled by Tammy. The, from the pro given from the problem statement. Steve walked walked three miles more than twice as many. So three miles more than twice as many as Tammy. Okay. And remember Steve hit. So if uh, this is the point from where they started, Steve headed south. This is Steve and this is Tammy. And by lunchtime, Steve is over here, Tammy is over here. They are nine miles apart. So Tammy is X and Steve is 2X plus 3. Okay, so if I and move this a little bit apart, and move this a little bit up there, and uh, let me write this clearly. So this is Steve. Okay, so Steve is this part here. And that is equal to three miles more than twice as many as Tammy. But this is a right angle triangle. So we will use the Pythagorean theorem. Also, the distance between the two at lunchtime is nine. That means from here to here is nine. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, the hypothesis, uh, the Hypotenuse, which is the side across or just opposite the right angle triangle, right angle is nine, nine square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides, which are x square plus three plus two x square. Okay. So nine square, we know nine times nine is 81 is equal to x square plus three plus two x times three plus two x. So 81 is equal to x square plus foil. First term, three times three is nine. Plus outside, three times two x is six x. Plus inside term, 2x times 3 is 6x. Plus the last term, 2x multiplied by 2x. 2 times 2 is 4x times x is x square. So what do we eventually have? 81 equal to x square plus 9 plus 6x plus 6x is 12x plus 4x square. 
Okay. So 81 and 9. The best thing is to keep everything on the right hand side. So subtract 81 on both sides. Okay. So we have 0 equal to x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. 9 minus 81 is, you can use your calculator, it's 81 minus 9 is 72. Okay, let me make sure it is correct. I'll use my calculator. 81 minus 9 is 72. Indeed, 72. But since 81 has the negative sign, so this is minus 72 plus 12x. Okay, which can be finally written as 5x square plus 12x minus 72 is equal to 0. Okay, so compare this with the standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So my a is the coefficient of x square or the term in front of x square, which is 5. My b is the coefficient of x, which is the term in front of x is 12. And my c is minus 72. So the standard solution of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is x equal to minus b plus minus b square minus, let me erase that because it should not, plus minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let's create some space. So x is equal to minus b means minus 12 plus minus b square. What is b square? It's 12 square minus 4. A is 5 and C is minus 72 divided by 2A. 2A A is 5. So this is x equal to minus 12 plus minus 12 times 12 is 144. Now there are two minuses here, minus times minus is plus. So four times five times 72 is 1440. Okay, that divided by two times five is 10. So x is equal to minus 12 plus minus square root of 1440 plus 144 is 1584 divided by 10. Okay, so if I create some more space, I get x is equal to Minus 12 plus minus, what is square root of 1584? Let's use the calculator to find that out. <coughs> and that is 39. not a perfect square. It is 39.8. Divided by 10. Do not quit me right away. I'll give you an important hint at the tip at the end of this program. So let's do it. X is equal to the two possibilities, minus 12 plus 39.8 divided by 10, or X is equal to minus 12 minus 39.8 divided by 10. 
So in this case, x is equal to 39.8 minus 12 is 51, sorry, 39.8 minus 12 is 27.8 divided by 10. The other possibility is x is equal to minus 51.8 divided by 10. So this is minus 5.18. However, x is distance. And it cannot be negative. Cannot be negative. Be negative. So the only possible value of x is only possible value of x is x is equal to 27.8 divided by 10, which is 2.78. Okay. So this is the only possible value of x. But before so this is the distance traveled by Tammy. Distance traveled by Tammy. Did we do it correctly? Let's check our algebra and make sure we have put our signs together in the correct fashion. Uh, let's check it out. So let's move this from the top. So it is... <clears throat> Let's look at the top. So X is the horizontal distance in the direction of east that is covered by Tammy. In the same time frame, Steve walked down in the south. Okay. Three plus two X. His distance is three miles more than twice as many miles as Tammy. So two X plus three. So we have using the Pythagorean theorem, hypotenuse, which is nine miles they were apart in the at noon. Nine square is equal to x square plus three plus two x square. X square is one side base and three plus two x is the other side. Sum of squares of two sides is equal to sum of the hypotenuse, which is the side opposite to the right angle. So 81 is equal to x square plus nine plus 12 x plus four x square. So finally, we get 5x squared minus 72 plus 12x equal to 0. Now, <clears throat> let's uh, solve this equation by using the quadratic formula for ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Here, a is equal to 5. So the important hint or tip is, as you look at this equation, you cannot factor it probably. So it's best idea to use the quadratic formula, which is x equal to the solution x for this quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c is x equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So minus b, b is uh, <coughs> b is 12, b is 12, so minus 12 plus minus b square 12 square minus 4, A is 5, C is minus 72. That is important, C is minus 72. So next step, X is minus 12 plus minus inside the square root, square root of two, the square of 12 is 144 plus four times five times 72 is 1,440. And uh, I mean, 1,440, right? So 1,440 plus 144 is 1,584. The whole thing minus 12 plus minus square root of 1584 divided by 10. So uh, we get x is equal to minus 12 plus minus 39.8. Square root of 1584 is not a perfect square, is 39.8. So there are two possibilities of x. One is a positive 2.78. The other is negative. Since x is the distance covered by Tammy, it cannot be negative. So the only possible value of x is 2.78, which is the distance 
traveled by Tammy. How about distance? Uh, so let's solve for the distance. Let's move this. So distance, distance traveled by Steve. Distance, so Steve, uh, distance traveled by Steve. by Steve is 2x plus 3, which is 2 times 2.78 plus 3, which is equal to, I will use my calculator, 2 multiplied by 2.78 plus 3 is 8.56 months. So these are your two answers. 8.56 and 2.78. Okay. So I stop here today. If you have any comment, question, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, share with your friends. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. You and your friends, subscribe to my channel. Math Science Topia, where I've solved all kinds of algebra problems just for you. Please do not forget to check out my playlist, Algebra Problems. Algebra Problems, where I have solved all kinds of algebra problems just for you. So please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And do not forget to visit me tomorrow, my channel tomorrow, when I'll be back with another new algebra problem. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time.